everyone! It's time for You Know What! You Know What! Ah. Okay, get into position. I just texted her, so she should be here in a... <laughs> look at, look at Lara. She's... Uh, there's no happy animation for her. It's always Lara being stressed. What's this? Surprise! Surprise! Oh, uh, surprise! Surprise! Yay! Uh, no way. This is all for me. Ah! <gasps> Salami. Uh, a letter. Ah! Uh. Oh, new Sophie animation. Salami? What a terrible present. No, you silly idiot. The real present got stolen and switched for salami. It's the salami bandit. I saw an awful lot of high grade salami in Fredrickson's bag. And now there's no question who the perpetrator is. I've been telling you all along we can't trust Fredrickson. By the end of the day, he'll be fired. Mark my words. Seems like a bit of an overreaction to a present being stolen. Or is there more to it? <gasps> oh my god, new things opened up! I think Lara is making all this up to make Freddy get fired. You know? That's not nice at all. Who messes with someone's birthday? Cheer up, Sophie. <laughs> It'll be okay. You have the duck detective here to figure everything out. <laughs> She's a KTS <laughs> fan. We have to. What can you possibly? We have do? to give her nice comfort. She's a. Uh, she's one of us. She's crying, but I think I saw a sparkle in her eyes when she opened mine. I should really get back to work. Wait, what? What's yours? Someone gifted Sophie a plushie. It says limited edition. It's a heart shaped necklace. <laughs> Looks tacky. What's this? Sexy aliens! Hey, this is from Margaret. Wait. Captain Brightbeak stared deep into the aliens' eyes. There were 12 of them, and they were red. The eyes, not the aliens. The aliens were blue, and there were 43. All of them were shiny metal armor. Is this a real novel or just a gibberish? Which shined like something shiny made of curved metal. The lead alien stepped forward. Captain Brightbeak could tell it was the leader, a lead alien, because it was the one which stepped forward. <laughs> what? It was also the most beautiful, the only one with purple eyes. It made a noise that sounded a bit like talking from a hole that looked a bit like a pretty lady's mouth. The translation device the captain had invented word into action, translating the words into words he could understand. Hey, you look cute. A, me a mechanical voice, hey, you look cute, whispered into his ear. Can I get your number? Oh my god. Page 252. Long book. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> what did I just read? <laughs> yeah, what did I just read? Buongiorno, everyone. Quite unbelievable. I entered the office really easily. Lol. 
Sayonara, Edge Lords, Cocky Attitude, Salami. I wonder what the purpose of that letter is. Oh. Can you tell me something about this letter? Sophie won't even talk to me about it. I don't know what to do. Hmm. So we have to figure out what Lara gifted. Do you know anything about this letter? Well, it's obviously a cheap prank by Frederson. Only he would find this funny. Freddy? Is it? No, that's too obvious. <gasps> Complainer. Can the... Oh, please clean their desk. I can smell it until... Uh, here, Lara. Sophie, chat, friends. Mystery author? It's just his name backwards? You definitely don't want to be Laura's enemy. Wait. <gasps> it's Cedrus Rufus. Rufus Cedrus. Hey, sir. What do you think about this letter? People don't know how to write letters by hand anymore. What's with the weird line break? Oh yeah, so he definitely wrote the novel. <laughs> they, they really think I've done it! Duck Detective, you have to help me! You, you, you know it wasn't me, right? Did you not think it was strange that your bag was full of salami? Uh... I don't know. I thought someone gave me a salami surprise. I'll eat salami sandwiches for breakfast, lunch, and dinner from now on. It's not, it's not him. So... What happens to the cake now? Cake. Cedrus Ruff. Oh wait, look at this. New things. Customs import? Allowed goods. Personal items worth less than 500 schmark. Uh, notify the local police about... Prohibited goods. Sweat guns, scary. More than 10 trombones? <laughs> what? Meat? Plant? Books? Not in the interest of eastern states? Potatoes? Luggage will be checked at the bus station. More information. What do they have against potatoes? <laughs> Maybe it was too romantic. Did Sophie ask about me? Oh! She might have mentioned you. Did she really? I bet my present will blow her away. Things are actually looking up. Things are actually... Wait, so, oh, I accidentally pressed yes. I should have pressed no, maybe. A surprise from him. This is by Cedrus Rufus. It's a heart-shaped necklace. I think this is from Boris. <laughs> Looks and, um... Someone gifted Sophie a plushie. It says, limited edition. We have to find out the plushie. Who did the plushie? my present? I mean, now she's crying. I think I saw a sparkle in her eyes when she opened mine. Okay, now she's crying, so which means Lara's gift was something before the salami. So it must be the plushie. I should really get back to work. Okay, so Lara, Boris, Rufa Cedrus, 
the bandit. Right? Okay. So... S Sophie received the following presents from her colleagues. Lara gave a plushie. Rufus gave a book. Boris gave a necklace. The cake got stolen? Wait. Okay, something got stolen. No, cake's here. The cake's here. Wait, so whose present got stolen? Mm. Nothing got stolen. Just it's just another present. So nothing got stolen after all. It seemed that the salami present was intentional. Okay, someone received a contained a uh, huh? the message. You mean this message? So, Sophie received a scary salami that contained a scary letter. <laughs> no, no. Contained a silly salami. Okay, scary is right here. Wait, wait, wait. Scary salami? No, no, no. Scary letter, silly salami. Oh, no! <gasps> a nice salami, right! It's gotta be... The salami is a high-quality salami. Okay, so... Scary... No, the silly letter. <gasps> a message! Sophie received... <laughs> A, a nice salami that contained a scary letter message. Silly salami. Oh, come on, what is it? <laughs> okay, let's silly letter. What? Sophie was receiving threats. What? Where? I needed to find out why. I think we have to check on Sophie's customer service reception desk. I think we kind of lucked it out here. Come on. Hold on. Sophie. Wait, wait what's the what's the what's the thread message? These? This This is a This is a message? I don't think this is scary. This is a funny message. <laughs> Business. We have to find two more. It wasn't Frederson. Everything is pointing towards him. I will present the true culprit soon enough. Well, I don't really care how long it takes you. This will be Frederson's <gasps> last day. No. No. Frederson's last day. We have to defend him. Oh. <gasps> oh. Me and sexy aliens. Hold on. Hold on. I told you we have to read this. Okay. Uh, uh, they were red. Oh, the eyes, not the aliens. The aliens were blue. And there were 43. Shiny metal armor. Okay. Wait, there's a lot of combinations. Me and sexy aliens, right? Okay, it must be the captain. The captain. Purple eyes. A oh, purple eyed alien, okay. So, Margaret is the purple eyed alien character in Rufus's book. So they're like. Let's see what secret she has on her computer. 
They're like dating? Cutie. Oh, lovers. Delete everything? Oh. What? West VPN? Secret cake recipe? Okay, so this is <gasps> never gonna give you up. <sighs> never gonna give you up. Bear bus intentional vouchers for CS agents. Three hour delay compensation booked on next bus. Vacation. Planned trip. Hey, this cutie must be Rufus. So Rufus is cutie. Margaret and Rufus has something going on between them. Who is this person she's messaging? I think we got everything now. Salamis are illegally imported from... Salicia. <laughs> that explains all the high-grade salami. I just needed to find out who was behind this. The mystery of the salami bandit was slowly getting unraveled. Western goods are prohibited from entering and being sold in the East. This is why the salami bandit decided to make a business out of buying high-grade salami in the West. Smuggling it to the East. And selling it at a high <gasps> profit. Also, for some reason, Sophie received a letter from the Salami Bandit. Oh, it's gotta be Boris. That had a hidden, threatening message. This was serious. Oh, maybe I not. I had to question all of the employees. Wait, Boris gave a necklace. Boris is just a driver. No, no, not, not Boris, not Boris. Thanks for coming, everyone. Oh, do, do you think it's Margaret? Margaret made... That big money by selling all the salami and booked a vacation? Well, everyone except And delete everything, meaning Sophie. Margaret told all everything about this salami business to Rufus Rufus and she was like, Okay, now delete all everything. Delete all the chat. Where is she? Slacking off. Playing on her computer phone like usual. Computer phone. She's having problems with her family. She was at her desk and said she needed a moment. <clears throat> I will start then regardless. I hope you'll plot twist if it's Sophie. Oh my god. I have made my <sighs> deductions and drawn some serious conclusions. Oh, finally! Is Freddy getting fired then? Who is the murderer? I... What? No one died! I'm getting framed! I'm telling you! What a load of baloney. He is right, actually. He is getting framed. What? Why would anyone bother? Ah, that is the question, isn't it? Why would anyone bother? Get to the point. It's through my observations that I uncovered a conspiracy. <gasps> this is ridiculous! Why are we still listening to a random duck that waddled into this office? I'm leaving! <gasps> Wait... Rufus... I'm a certified private investigator and... It's okay, just tell us what you know! <sighs> Salami is being smuggled from Salsitia using your very own buses! Huh? What's going on? Okay, this is going too far. I really have more important things to do. Oh no, everyone's leaving. Now that is really scandalous! Does that mean we're losing our jobs? Uh... Maybe. Ah! Oh, everyone's leaving. Listen, everybody! It's really important that no one leaves the premises. <sighs> I need to get back to work. <laughs> oh, everybody's leaving? Freddy, it's you and me. Oh. I'm still here, Mr. Duck Detective.
This is getting intense, isn't it? Maybe you could need a little help? You seem lonely. I could be your assistant. What do you want me to do? D uh, decipher messages? Talk someone into telling us the truth? Follow people around? I'm pretty good at that. Just stay here. Like this? Yep, you're doing great. Oh, hey, the phone. Wait, what was that? You heard that? KTS Enjoyer, BTS Band. Are your parents still angry at you? That's Lara, right? <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> this is curious. Why would she write like this? We have to decipher a message. Someone forgot the Look. Oh my god. I didn't know you can do this. Okay, maybe we have to decipher. Oh my god, what, what's wrong with you? Who would hire me at this age? Oh, maybe I can be a, a real estate agent. I always wanted to be a rich real estate agent. <laughs> Margaret's kind of funny. Why would Laura recruit you to deal with a theft? Aren't there any other detectives who are actually qualified for the job? I've been doing very well so far, if I do say so myself. The truth will be revealed in the end. Huh? Oh! <gasps> he must be behind here. Finally, Manfred is out of his office. Time to see what's behind his precious family portrait. Oh. C S O O B D. Oh no, I don't know this. See, can the O O please clean their desk? I can smell it until here. Can the O O? So O O is like a something. Clean their desk. It must be Freddy. Clean their desk. We can look at his computer. Stalking? Murder. Detective novel. Murder. Um, what else? There's nothing. Kidnapping. Is this important in any way? These are just novels. Someone is clearly obsessed with detectives. C S O O B D. It must be like a code for each. It's not really a detective's employee. job to spin crazy conspiracy theories, is it? Sometimes the truth is pretty crazy. Seems a bit cheap. All right, let's talk to Sophie. Oh, they're all here. She left? Just like this? <gasps> Maybe she's at home. Should I look for her? S Sophie left! And she left a note on the desk. Let's see. The last dialed number on this phone is 03051777. Oh, is that important? <gasps> An investigation, here we go. Unknown number. Anymore, I'll tell them everything. Don't. You block this number. Click here to unblock. 
Aita for expecting my co-worker to remember my birthday. It's my 20th birthday today and no one congratulated me. I don't need much, but at least a handwritten card would, would have been nice. High expectations. That's it! I quit. You'll never... Dramatic. You'll never see me again. Sophie... Windheimer. What a dramatic turn. I should keep this as evidence. Oh. This is the note Sophie left. Can you tell me more about it? It doesn't make sense at all that she'd just suddenly leave. She definitely needs the money. And she would have told me. I'm her friend. Does this mean... Did you read Sophie's letter? I did. Something's off. Something's different. Something's different. Let's go ask everybody about this letter. Have you seen Sophie's resignation? <laughs> no. I can't say it comes at a surprise. She never particularly enjoyed her job. It's... Difficult finding replacements nowadays, though. Not much. What do you think of this note? It's no surprise she's left, is it? Would you want to work with someone you've dated in the past? Ah, uh, Boris. What do you think of Sophie's resignation? Oh, huh? I guess Boris was overdoing it a bit with that present. <gasps> I did tell him to cool off a bit. Why are people not listening to me? Are you... No. I can be your ghostwriter. <sighs> I'll think about it. Alright, so we did everything. All we have left is... This lock. Three numbers. So, customer service. Two. Operating office. One. Bus driver. Okay, it's the, it's the number of employees. Do we have to count desk? Like, is it like four desk here? It might. It's it's either four or two. Operating office is one. And now bus driver. How many bus driver do we have? It must be the number of buses. Two. Two buses. So it's gotta be four one two or two one two. Huh? Huh? CS O O B D. The two desks on this side look unused. So maybe it's two here. So two operating office is only one, right? Right? It's a list of all the bus drivers. The most busy driver out of all four. Seems all four. To oh, it's four. Oh, it's four. So two one four two one four. We're getting it. We're doing it. Yes! I did it! Oh, I always wanted to open a ridiculously big safe. Here Let's we go. Let's see what secrets he has in here. Keychain. Server room key. Dear Ingrid. Two letter different handwriting. I know I haven't been there for you and the kids recently. <gasps> so Ingrid is his wife. But things are looking up. I would love to take you to a romantic getaway to Hollandise. Love, Manfred. Keep quiet fear of snitching. Blackmail? Keep quiet about the thing. Do all these things and nothing will happen to you. <gasps> oh, Manfred is behind the illegal importing. Off a lot of security for a branch manager of a bus. But he's getting used. 
He's not like the one who planned everything. Wait. Here it is. The key for the server room. Okay, let's go in. Are we supposed to close this? <laughs> Sophie's letter was blue handwriting too. Oh, so you think this is written by Manfred, not Sophie? Let's see what's what are you doing? Uh, secret detective business. Hmm. Oh. The electrical sparks and blinking lights created a claustrophobic atmosphere. I definitely felt that I wasn't supposed to be here. Oh, yeah. What's he keeping in all these boxes? I don't think it's meant to do this. <gasps> oh, investigate myself. Tatered hat poor. <laughs> oh no, look at my look at my eyes. No. Breadcrumbs. Shame. <laughs> Has that been there the whole day? Honestly, this is nicer than my apartment. <gasps> oh, wait. <gasps> hey, look. Rufus. Book. More Rufus books. This might be Rufus's room. Oh, it is. It must be. He came with the building. <gasps> this is Rufus. eBay. Easy. Bearbus Hunter Schmark's voucher. New unused Hunter Schmark voucher now. Selling for 80 Schmark. Bearbus voucher. He has been selling the vouchers. Camera, bus, CCTV. Oh. oh no. Lisa. How to delete easy selling history. That, this is not Google. <laughs> Computer illiterate. It's Rufus. Oh no. What's up with these Airbus vouchers on Easy. Okay. So Sophie got blackmailed because Sophie wanted snitch. Wait, wait, wait. What about this? Oh my god. The receptionist. <laughs> because so what? Sophie got kidnapped. What? I don't understand. Why? Why is it Sophie got kidnapped because Sophie wanted to snitch? What is snitch? <laughs> Guys, there what is must snitch? Be more to this. I'm so I'm so dumb. In there snooping around are we that room is strictly off limits i even put up posters this is for Im important detective work huh? okay it's the last one oh snitch means to tell on someone or rat someone out Sophie got kidnapped because Sophie wanted to snitch. Oh. Oh, now it makes sense. Snitch meaning like tell the truth. Like, so Sophie was trying to tell the truth. Wait. I'll tell them everything. Snitch, here. Don't. 
you block this number, click here to unblock. So this number, I'll tell everything. I think it's Rufus. Rufus kidnapped Sophie, don't you think? Maybe. Maybe Sophie's like stuck in here. Sophie, can you hear me? Uh, so this is kidnapped Sophie to make her stay quiet about Rufus. Illegally selling vouchers, buses. Oh, wait. Vouchers. Ding is the one that provided the ing. Uh, the ing to ing. This must be Manfred is the one that provides the salamis to the salami bandit. Wait, do you think... So Rufus kidnapped Sophie to make her quiet about Rufus illegally selling vouchers. Do you think it's Rufus here? No. Okay, okay, okay. It might be... It might be Margaret is one that provides the vouchers to Rufus. Oh no, this is Rufus, correct. Rufus illegally selling vouchers. That's correct. This is Rufus. So not Boris, not Manfred. It's Rufus kidnapped Sophie to make her stay quiet about... See, this is also Rufus. Illegal, not legally, it's illegally importing. No, this is selling vouchers. Maybe it's Rufus is the one that provides salamis. No, no, it's not. Margaret is the one that provides the vouchers to Rufus. Wait, so then this is all correct. So it's, it's here, it's here. Rufus blackmailed. Wait. So it's, it must be something up here. Rufus blackmailed Manfred. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh. Because Rufus has the CCTV. Rufus knew Manfred was doing all the salami importing. So Rufus blackmailed Manfred. So that... Oh. This is what Rufus and Margaret were doing with the vouchers. So there's two, two things going on. The salami importing and Rufus and Margaret thingy. There's two things going on. That might be illegal, but this wasn't what I was here for. I needed to catch the salami bandit. I quickly needed to find out where Sophie was being kept. I also couldn't let the salami bandit get away with this. It was finally time to find out who was behind everything. Oh. Okay, how do we find this? She must be under the desk here. Come out, Sophie. It's all safe. Now she's a giraffe. She must be tall. <laughs> she can't be in the boxes. She's too tall. All right, let's go to the parking lot. Sophie. <gasps> She's been buried inside this trash can. Sophie! I'm here to save you. Sophie! Are you here? Sophie! I'm here to save you. Maybe Sophie's at... Um... Bear buses station in a in a bus in a bus two or fewer things are wrong in a fight <laughs> in a box in a bus in a cake in a box in a fight in a trip on a trip <laughs> it's a it's in in it must be in a Bus. Sophie's at Manfred's office. <laughs> the bus. <laughs> no. Oh my. Bear bus's office. 
It's kind of this puzzle is kind of weird. It's Bear Bus Station, isn't it? That's where she is being kept. It's important that I stayed calm now. I couldn't alert the culprit, or all of this will have been for nothing. I needed to first figure out who is behind everything, so I could confront them. So, who is the Salami Bandit? The Salami Bandit is the Salami Bandit because... <laughs> yeah, so... Manfred kidnapped Sophie because Ma it's Manfred's handwriting that did the Sophie I'm leaving thing. So Manfred... It, it, Manfred's also here. So Manfred kidnapped Sophie and put him inside the bus. Um, Rufus and Margaret is selling vouchers illegally and making profit. Okay. So, Manfred is a Salami Panda because someone's and uh, are uh. Because Sophie and... Oh. <laughs> there must be someone who bought the vouchers. Hold on. So look at this. Vouchers for CS agents. Look at this. Margaret and Rufus share their profit. That's why Margaret is booking the vacation. They share the money. Basically, Rufus and Margaret is almost married. So yeah, this, this is says... Make me employee of the month, TV in my room, keep quiet about the things, do all these things and nothing will happen to you. So that's Rufus. Rufus is the black letter. Manfred is telling me about it because... Alright. Wait. Oh, okay. Manfred is the salami bandit. <laughs> right, right, because Manfred kidnapped Sophie because Manfred is at the at the the stage the bus storage area, the station. And uh, okay, okay. Rufus and Margaret are just doing their own thing. Oh, you know what? I think Rufus figured out that Manfred was doing the salami bandit th thingy. So Rufus was like, okay, I know what you're doing. So you give me a TV and then blah, blah, blah. And then nothing's going to happen. That makes a lot of sense. Ironic that his handwritten note meant to frame Fredersen ended up incriminating Manfred instead. Something was missing here. Who else was involved with this? I had collected everything I needed. I just had to organize my thoughts. Oh, dirty work? Oh my god. So Boris is Salami Bandit's friend because the Salami Bandit needed someone who could easily carry out the... ...importing of the... ...salamis. Oh, what? No, this must be Rufus. Rufus is a Salami Bandit's friend because... Could easily carry out the... Oh, no, 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 that's Boris. It's gotta be Boris. A come... Oh, wait. Not friend. A salami bandit wasn't working alone. It made sense for the bus driver to be involved. Next. So this is... This is Margaret. A salami bandit's... No, Boris is the salami bandit's... Compli complice because she used to date Sophie and the Salaban needed someone who could convince convince someone into oh you know what it's gonna be Sophie Sophie is a Salami bandit's a comp like I think I think Boris I think Sophie dated Boris and Sophie said, hey Boris, you know, there's this work, secret work, would you like to do? Like, Sophie made Boris become a part of it. Who could convince, who could convince Boris into helping. Oh, yes! I couldn't believe Sophie managed to talk Boris into this. Oh my god, but why did... Oh, but Sophie... 
like needed more money or, or you know asked more of the, of, of the share Manfred was like nope and Sophie was like I'm gonna tell everything and then Manfred was like well then you're getting kidnapped Aha! I had it all figured out now it was time that I confront the culprits but first I had to free Sophie Why is everyone yelling? This looks dramatic. It's kind of a long story. And guess who deduced said long story? The one and only Duck Detective. Dun dun dun. The room. This is how everything went down. All right, let's see. The Britzel Berbus branch was suffering losses and had their budget cut as a result. Manfred, worried about the financial stability of his family, felt himself backed into a corner. This is when he became the Salami Bandit. He made his grand plan of salami smuggling and realized he couldn't do this alone. He recruited Boris, since it would be easiest for the bus driver to load and unload the wares discreetly. The bus would go through a customs check at the Salsiccia bus station first. And then Boris would take a detour to get the salami and load it onto the bus. This is why the buses always had a huge delay. It wouldn't be easy to talk Boris into crime. So Manfred convinced Sophie to join the team. <gasps> Boris's obsession with her would make it easy for her to manipulate him into helping with their plan. Everything was going well until... The Duck Detective! That's me. Infiltrated the office. Freddy was meant to be the scapegoat for the crime. But I'm not fooled that easily. Sophie began getting cold feet and ultimately wanted to confess to the police. Manfred couldn't have this, so he interfered. In an outburst of panic, he abducted her and hid her in the luggage compartment of one of the buses. And this is why... Manfred stole Laura's lunch! Huh? To all of that, to to frame Freddy. What? <laughs> what? Everything is figured out, but who is truly guilty? Manfred, Sophie, and Boris are all involved in the smuggling. Who should get arrested for their crimes? Manfred was the mastermind behind everything. Should Manfred get arrested? Yes. He is the reason this all started in the first place. Of course he should be arrested. What about Sophie? Without her, the smuggling wouldn't have been possible. She manipulated poor Boris into taking the salami across the border. Should Sophie get arrested? Yes. What she did was clearly... <laughs> She needs to face the consequences. Boris was at the end of the chain. Had he refused to take the salami on board, the plan would have not worked out. Should Boris get arrested? Yes. He might have not realized what was going on entirely. But that doesn't mean he's not liable for engaging in the smuggling. All right. I've made up my... Put them all in jail. I will report to the state police... Manfred! Sophie! Boris! And I do it again! <gasps> Anything to secure my family's well-being! I'm not sure grand-scale salami smuggling was necessary for that. How else was I going to cope with all the budget cuts? If anyone actually worked in this office, 
we wouldn't have such terrible performance in the first place. Hey, I work. <laughs> oh, Lara. Yes, and then you keep asking for promotions. How am I going to give anyone a promotion if we have people baking cakes during working hours? <laughs> <laughs> and while we're at it, Rufus, how dare you embezzle money from the company and then threaten me? <laughs> That's... Rufus said we're only doing that until his book takes off. <gasps> Everyone's I'll guilty. I'll play the lead alien in the movie adaptation. I'll play the lead alien in the movie adaptation. <laughs> Look who's going to jail now, Manfred. Not me, that's for sure. No, we're gonna put you in jail too if there's an option. I stand by what I said. I regret nothing. What is this? If I had known that calling the duck detective would result in this, I would have never done it. You were supposed to find out who stole my lunch. Not accuse my best friend of smuggling! <laughs> I knew this was a bad idea from the beginning! Why did Boris have to lose the bag? My god, he is such an idiot! I had no idea it was that important! Why didn't anyone tell me about the plan? You said your cousin was ill! And the only thing that would make her happy was the salsiccia salamis. Oh, I should have known. Yeah, Boris wasn't part of it. Boris was uh, not. So Sophie and Manfred is the real baddies. If you're stupid enough to believe that, <gasps> then you're also too stupid to bring a couple sausages across the border. <gasps> Wow, you really did quack the case, Mr. Duck Detective. You're just as cool as I imagined. Not now, Fredersen. Bye bye, Sophie. Bye bye, man. The truth is an ugly Bye bye, Boris. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Throw bread to the fine beak of Lady Justice. You know, I don't agree with this. Sophie has to have a higher percentage than Boris. Because if we talk about like who did right or wrong, it's definitely Sophie who did wrong, not Boris. Because Boris wasn't... Boris did not know that this was a smuggling act for like a a thing right but sophie clearly knew it was something bad so come on boris i i i put them all in jail but boris should have a uh, you know a little bit lower you know manfred's gonna go in jail for like five years sophie three years boris like one year because boris didn't know what he was doing but still he was still a part of it so that makes him illegal so Boris one year Sophie you know what I think Sophie might also serve like five years yeah Boris no he might go because technically he was still a part of the 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 crime but he didn't know does that make him like what you call that like um, no crime just because he didn't know what he was doing I think no I think even though he didn't know what he was doing if he did something bad I think you still get like a little bit of a charge, right? But Sophie, she's a biatch because Sophie basically gaslighted Boris to do something for her. And um, Sophie knew about the smuggling and worked with Manfred. But just because she felt bad and was about to tell the police, does that make it a little bit like less? I don't know. Anyways, Manfred is 98. <laughs> So, 2% of people didn't decide Manfred to go to jail. Yeah, so if Sophie actually told the police about it, maybe her sentence would like go down like Boris. Boris was only wrong in knowing 
it was illegal to import the sausage. He had no idea about the other detail. Boris would probably still go to jail, but maybe less for than a month. Yeah, I think I think Boris it would, like would go to jail, but like really short time because he didn't know. He was trying to help like Sophie's cousin or something. So technically, Boris kind of knew that importing salami is like something wrong because like meats are prohibited, but he did it for Sophie's cousin. So it's like a you know, just a little bit, like, but Sophie, she gaslighted, she helped with Manfred and she, like, all that. And Manfred trying to, you know, feed his kids, that doesn't make it, like, just because you have, like, 100 kids to feed, that doesn't make it, like, less crime, you know? A crime is a crime. Oh. Duck detective! We did it! That was fun. I, I love Lara. Lara was like so funny. You know, I'm really good at puzzle games, but like this was pretty hard for me because I don't know I don't know some English words and it's pretty hard to like snitch stitch all together like the pieces. Oh crap. I completely forgot to collect my payment from Lara. Everybody already went home. How am I going to pay for the bus? <sighs> Guess I'm walking home. Yeah, I think Minso did everything. Ahem. Oh, need a ride? Freddy. <laughs> I just booked this one. It's been such a long day after all. No, thank you. Oh, why? Come on, it'll be fun. Plus, you must be tired after all the detective work. I really don't. Please? <sighs> I... <sighs> yeah, fine. <laughs> Look at the car. <laughs> Great. Now I finally have time to tell you all about my ideas for your social media. Please don't. I could get you tons of publicity. No. And imagine, we can team up. Absolutely not. <laughs> Freddy is so funny. And I can be your sidekick. <sighs> the end. That was, that was a pretty good story. I'm I'm kind of mad that we couldn't jail Rufus, you know? Because, like, Rufus was a c clearly a baddie. Come on. we The game needs an option for Rufus. I can continue. Oh, I oh know. Alright, well, that's the game.